Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place as you listen to The Bright Side every day. You are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the somewhat confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 20 I have 31 years of practicing pharmacy. I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the Ingevity products, Ingevity business, Truth Skin Health products, anything you may have heard about, read about, a health challenge you or a loved one is dealing with, or if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Call 844-236-6010. That is our number, and we'll get your calls as we always do on the bright side at the bottom of the hour. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. You can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team, call 866-735-2470 for more info for a one-time $25 fee. You can be part of the Longevity business. You can be part of the Bright Side Ben team. You can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program all while you're working from your home, working from your home office, writing off your home office, writing off your mileage, your stamps, having your own business, being in business for yourself. That's the best part, being in business for yourself. Yes, it's work. It's like any work you got to produce, but you're doing it for yourself. And that's what's so beautiful about and the way I look at it. And I've been involved in network marketing now for 20 plus years, more, almost 30 years. It's just nice to be able to work for yourself. I haven't collected a paycheck from a regular job since 1993. If you have that entrepreneur mindset, if you're an independent person, you don't want to work for somebody else if you don't have to. This is an opportunity to work for yourself, to make money, and to help change the world at the same time at the most fundamental level there is, which is the level of health and wellness And I am not exaggerating here. People lose hundreds of pounds when they get on the Longevity Nutritional Supplement Program. People get off all their meds. I've talked to people who who are going to have their legs amputated and didn't have to have horrible surgeries. People feel better. When you're on a nutritional supplement program and Longevity makes it so easy easy to do, you will feel better. Is it all you have to do to change your life? No, you got to do other things too, but it's fundamental. It's a key component. You better believe it. Ask anybody who's benef- benefited from uh, a Longevity, the Longevity supplement, pro- a nutritional supplement program in general or the Longevity supplement program in specific. All right. That's all I'm going to say about that. I want to talk about stimulation, exercise, movement. We've been talking about this idea of stimulating the skin to improve health and appearance, and it should make perfect sense if you understand how the body works. Stimulation leads to growth. Stimulation is your is the most powerful. Stimulation in the context of rest is the most powerful anti-aging strategy there is, as long as there's nutrition. Disease is about stagnation. Disease is about clotting and slowing down and clogging and, and uh, uh, things not moving, stone formation and crystal formation, things just not moving the way they should be. 
Movement is associated with health, and that's true at the cellular level as, as well as it is true at the lifestyle level. Movement means health. Obviously, you don't want to overmove, and that's why I say extra rest. You have to have all, the, all that movement has to occur within a context of rest. But given that there's enough rest, a long enough rest period, movement is, plays a key role in health, and it's true about our bodies, it's true about our minds, it's true about our spirits, it's true about our, our cells, it's true about our skin. And this is where stimulating the skin becomes so important, and there's lots of ways to do it. We've been talking about alpha-hydroxy acids, fruit sugar acids. Alpha-hydroxy acids are a key component of, a, a key uh, player in the processing of energy inside a cell. Everybody's heard probably, well not everybody, but a lot of you have heard of the Krebs cycle. The famous Krebs cycle is how energy is produced in a cell and the Krebs cycle is also known as the alpha hydroxy acid cycle because an alpha hydroxy acid plays a major role in how energy is produced at this level. The Krebs cycle is how food gets turned into energy basically. Everything's about energy. When we're, when we're sick it's an energy phenomenon. So helping and facilitating uh, cellular energy is major, major, major uh, uh, strategy for keeping your body healthy. And alpha hydroxy acids play key roles there. Now, on the skin, you're not going to get those kinds of benefits when you apply topically, but the fact that alpha hydroxy acids are so fundamental, such a basic part of normal biochemistry means they're so gentle. That's what accounts for their gentle nature, their non-toxic nature, their non-drug-like nature, their non-pharmacological nature. But you get pharmacological effects. That's amazing. In fact, when glycolic acid first hit the mainstream in the early 1990s, it, the, the, its release in a product called Fruition, some of you may remember, Estee Lauder's Fruition. I think Avon had a product at the same time. I forgot the, what they called theirs. But around 1993, uh, companies got hip, these two companies in particular, Estee Lauder and Avon, got hip to the power of alpha hydroxy acids. And uh, you know, if you're in your 50s or 60s, you probably remember when alpha hydroxy acids were all, and you're a woman, you're in the skin, involved in skincare, you probably remember when alpha hydroxy acids and glycolic acids, were, they were the, the, the fad ingredient of the early 1990s. But they weren't a fad only. They were a fad for sure, but they weren't only a fad. They were effective, and I knew about it way before because I had a, I was filling prescriptions and I had doctors who were using it to treat skin issues. So I bought myself a drum of the stuff, ah, probably 1992, 90, somewhere in the early 1990s. And, uh, and then Estee Lauder came out with glycolic acid in their product and it became the hottest stuff in the skincare world ever, pretty much ever. And uh, all of a sudden everybody had alpha hydroxy acids. The reason that alpha hydroxy acids caught on so well, and they're still, you know, you don't hear about them as much in terms of, uh, at least not in the fad, they're kind of just a, a baseline active ingredient that's, that most people who are hip to skincare know about. The reason they're so important is because they're so gentle, yet they're so effective. That combination, <coughs> excuse me, gentle and non toxic. And effective. That combination is a dream combination for skincare. It's a dream combination for any kind of topical ingredient. You want to get effect, but you don't want toxicity. And alpha hydroxy acids give you that. And that's why, in my opinion, they are a must have. We'll talk about how you get them and how you use them in a more practical sense here in a little bit. They're a must have for anybody who's interested in anti aging. Now, you can apply your alpha hydroxy acids a couple different ways. You can do it at home three or four times a week. Or if you have in cleansers, I like formulating, when I formulated uh, alpha hydroxy acid products, I like them in cleansers. That was my favorite way to do it. Also toners. And by the way, we're going to have cleansers and toners and alpha hydroxy acid products out at truthtreatments.com in the coming months. So uh, you can do it at home. You can do your alpha hydroxy acid uh, 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 peel, exfoliation, stimulation, gym treatments, skin gym treatments at home three or four times a week. And you're going to get benefits. And you can also do it in a more intense fashion at an esthetician, uh, via an esthetician in a spa or doctor's office or um, a medical salon. Or you, know, you can have them done monthly. You can have them done bi-monthly, a couple times a week. Those are two ways to do it, and they're both important, and they're, and they're both helpful. I say do them both, personally. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this.
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. We have lines open for you. If you have questions about the longevity products or longevity business or skin health products or questions about exfoliation or skin treatments or peels, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you're interested in checking out our Truth Treatment products, they're all up at truthtreatments.com, our retinol, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, and Truth Transdermal Sea Serum. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, silicon oil, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Treatment products. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. So two ways you can get yourself a skin peel, two ways you can take your skin to the gym. You can do it at home from the comfort of your own bathroom in a less intense way. But if you really want a, a, uh, a good, intense skin peel treatment, and I recommend them once a month, once every couple months, every couple weeks for some folks, uh, you want to go to an esthetician and uh, go uh, have the whole treatment done. They're both important. Both can be helpful. Disruption of the skin cells on the surface tickles the cells. Remember we talked about tickling the cells, uh, uh, tickling the skin cells, releasing those cytokines and stimulating growth. But you can also, if you get a more intense treatment, you can turn on the whole wound healing prop, uh, process. And the bone is always stronger at the point of the break. So when the skin is constantly wound healing or when the skin is in, in constant wound healing mode, given there's rest and given there's nutrition, you can actually leverage that process to get more collagen, to more, get more connective tissue, just like exercise. Same exact mechanism as exercise. You can, you can exercise a little bit or you can exercise a lot. You can get intense exercise treatments. You can get little uh, daily exercise treatments. They're all going to build tissue. They're all going to build connective tissue. They're all going to build, in this case of the, your body, your skeletal muscle, or your skeletal uh, framework. If you're lifting weights, you're going to build muscle. In the case of your skin, you're going to build the connective tissue called collagen and elastin and high aluronic acids. And you can do it from the comfort of your own bathroom. You don't need to go to a salon. But if you go to a salon or spa, you can get a more intense treatment. AHAs are everywhere in nature. They're one of the most basic and fundamental molecules in uh, the natural world, maybe the most fundamental and basic molecule in the natural world. My favorite of the AHAs is the, the one most of the research has been done on, and that's glycolic acid. There's a whole bunch of AHAs. Malic acid is an AHA that's found in apples. Tartaric acid uh, is found in, in grapes. So is uh, uh, citric acid. Citric acid is found in you know, all kinds of fruits, especially citrus fruits, but also in grapes and other fruits. Um, acetic acid. Acetic acid is vinegar. That's why vinegar is such a good exfoliating aid. And if you use apple cider vinegar, you get some minerals there too. Uh, let's see what else you got. Uh, uh, lactic acid. That's the, oh, that's one of my all-time favorites, actually. Lactic acid. Lactic acid is a milk it, it is largely found in dairy and in milk. It's a milk sugar type substance. Remember, alpha hydroxy acids help the body process help cells process sugar. So, where uh, where you find sugar, you're going to find these alpha hydroxy acids. And lactic acid is found in in a milk. Milk being a very rich source of the sugar, lactose. Lactic acid has a much more moisturizing and skin softening property. It's good for people who have really, really dry skin. In fact, the only prescription moisturizer, I hate that word, moisturizer, but that's what they call it. Uh, the only prescription moisturizer that uh, doctors can actually write a script for and your insurance company will pay for is called ammonium lactate or they have different brand names for it, but the active ingredient is a type of lactic acid called ammonium lactate. Lactate's being a type of uh, a, a version of lactic acid, without getting into too much chemistry. Lactates are actually growth-stimulating substances in the body. Lactates are, for better or worse, cancer uh, tends to feed on lactates, but lactates also... Um, are involved in how muscles grow when you feel the burn. The burn that you feel when you're working out with weights is lactate. And lactate signals muscle growth. It's a type of lactic acid. That burn is a type of lactic acid. 
And so when you put lactic acid on your skin, like with any alpha hydroxy acids, there's a certain familiarity that the skin has to the molecule. So you don't really have any toxicity because the skin recognizes the molecule. In fact, lactates are inside the skin. Lactates are part of how the skin naturally moisturizes itself. I use lactates whenever I want to moist, add something that will soften the skin or uh, create a sense of uh, hydration on the skin. I don't like the word moisturizer, but create a, a, a sense that there, a, a feeling that the skin is more hydrated, that the surface is, is, is uh, skin surface is, has been plasticized, has been fluidized a little bit anyway. I use lactic acid or lactate. I like, personally, I like uh, sodium lactate or potassium lactate more than ammonium lactate. But either way, the lactates have this softening property for the surface of the skin. Just a plain old alpha hydroxy acid. You can get a lactic acid peel or you can use lactic acid in your cleansers or in your toners and get the same kind of benefits. So glycolic acid, that's the most famous one. That's the one that um, most of the research has been done on is glycolic acid when it comes to stimulating the skin. If you Google glycolic acid and collagen, glycolic acid and hyaluronic acid, and not Google, but scholar.google.com, that's a website, scholar.google.com. That's a website where you just get scientific information. Uh, you don't get advertising. If you Google, uh, if you scholar.google, glycolic acid and, uh, and uh, any any benefit you want from the skin, collagen production, uh, skin cells, acne, all kinds of skin benefits you get from using alpha, uh, glycolic acid. You're going to get hundreds of articles, hundreds of hits on it. It's been researched voluminously. Nobody really heard of it before 1993, but in the last 20 years, oh my God, it's been researched voluminously. The first guy who really started working with it was a guy, a doctor in Philadelphia, Dr. Eugene Van Scott, back in the 1960s. He was the first physician to really start to write about it. And, but he was only writing about it in really high, uh, uh, technical journals. But he was getting great results from it. And I actually read Dr. Eugene Van Scott's paper in the early 1990s, papers uh, in the early 1990s. And, uh, and that's when I started to realize that there was something there. And then I had doctors starting to write prescriptions for it. And that's when I really got into it. But it's been really around since 1920. Its first use was to remove wax off of cars. For, uh, for people who worked on the outside part of cars, they would have to remove the wax, and that's how they, that was the first use for glycolic acid. It was a wax remover, because it's got this incredible ability to dissolve things. Glycolic acid is a great way to, or alpha hydroxy acids in general, is a great way just to clean things. Why? Because they're both, what makes alpha hydroxy acid so cool is they've got water-soluble properties and fat-soluble properties. They've got both. They're kind of like a very, very tiny, 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 from a molecular standpoint, fat, but they're watery. And when something is both fatty and watery, it can clean things really well. That's how soap works. It's fatty and it's watery. But glycolic acid is such a tiny little molecule, it's way less problematic than soap. Soap is a really problematic molecule. Glycolic acid will clean just as well as soap, and it will stimulate. Now, I'm not saying to use it instead of soap, but you certainly can use a milder solution and maybe dilute your soap with some alpha hydroxy acids and not have to use as much soap. That's why cleansers with alpha hydroxy acids can be such effective products. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. And we will get your calls here in just a moment here at 844-236-6010. I want to read a couple of quick stories for you. This is from the World Health Organization. Shock of all shocks. The flu vaccine. A high stakes gamble. It is a high stakes gamble with thousands of human lives on the line. Yet twice a year, the UN's World Health Organization bets on the flu. That is, which virus type is likely to dominate in the coming season. And on this basis, the flu vaccine is prepared months in advance. Check this out. Quote, we cannot say for sure which virus will be circulating. Unquote. In other words... The flu vaccine doesn't necessarily work for the annual flu virus of that year. 
they guess at which one is going to work. And that's why the flu vaccine is such an utter failure. That's why people don't get protection from the flu with, by taking the flu vaccine. And even the pharmacies and the doctors who dispense the flu vaccine will tell you that. It's not a guarantee of protection. Yet, you still injected stuff into your blood through your skin, depending on the, on the uh, honor and ethics of the drug company that made the stuff or the government that regulates the drug company that made the stuff. It's playing with fire to inject things into your skin, into your blood through your skin. That's the bottom line when it comes to vaccinations. Do you need them sometimes? Well, you have to make that your own decision on that. But the flu vaccine, you definitely don't need. Now, if you're worried about getting the flu, make sure you're taking care of your nutrition and make sure you're living a good, clean life, especially when it comes to sugar. That's the real problem is the sugar. That's the real bad guy. It's how we're eating. Nothing will suppress the immune system faster than sugar, and most of us are getting way too much of this stuff. Hundreds, 100 grams a day for most people, more. Sometimes 200 grams a day. That's half a pound almost of sugar. If you include cereal and bread and pasta, not to mention all the desserts and sweets and soda pop. Vitamin C is super important for helping build the immune system. Zinc is super important for helping build the immune system. Exercise, moving your lymph is very important. These are all the strategies we should be employed, employing, and these are all the strategies we should be talking about. Not going to get the flu vaccine. Nobody makes any money by um, if you're exercising. Nobody makes any money if you're, if you're on a rebounder, if you're on an inversion device. Nobody makes any money if you're eating correctly and reducing your sugar intake. That's the real issue. Living a clean life is always, a cl is always the main issue. And if we're trying to jack up our metabolism, whether it's through uh, appeals or, or whether it's through uh, uh, artificial hormone replacement, or if we're trying to protect ourselves artificially with vaccines and we're not nutritionally, nutritionally whole, healthy on all the levels, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, as well as physically, you can't protect yourself with a drug. That just doesn't, it does, it's not how the body works. It's not how it happens. From, uh, excuse me, the uh, Karolinska Institute in uh, Sweden, new research from Sweden, published in the British Me Medical Journal, fluoroquinolones, that's an antibiotic class that goes by the name Cipro, Levaquin, these fluoroquinolones are linked to increased risk of aortic disease. Fluoroquinolones are notoriously potent antibiotics. Fluoro, by the way, stands for fluoride. We spent about a month earlier, uh, earlier this year, talking about how toxic fluoride was, how problematic fluoride was. These are fluoridated antibiotics, fluoridated quinolones, and they are notoriously toxic and filled with uh, side effects, particularly when they involve the gut, particularly, uh, particularly those, I should say, that involve the gut. Now we find that these fluoroquinolones are linked to an increased risk of heart disease, aortic heart disease. They induce certain enzymes. Look, it doesn't really matter the mechanism. The fact of the matter is, is there's no good drugs. There's no way you can justify the use of long-term drugs. Occasionally, you need antibiotics, of course. Occasionally, you need pain pills, of course. But there's no way you can justify, from a health perspective, the use of long-term drugs. You know, I, I, I'm, you might want to throw in, uh, for people who have transplants, they may need, you may need immune suppressors, but they're not good. Even if you absolutely have, positively have to live, be on a drug to live, it's not a good thing. If you are on a drug, by the way, there's a lot you could do. There is a lot you could do when you're on a, a prescription drug to mitigate, to soften the blow. Nutritional supplementation becomes extra important if you're on a beta blocker, for example. It becomes extra important if you're on a blood thinner, for example. I get the question all the time, oh, are these drugs going to interfere with my medication? Or the doctors will say, no, you better not take those nutrients. They may interfere with your drugs. No. Your drugs will make your nu your nutrients will make your drugs more potent. Your nutrients will make your drugs more effective. If you are on a prescription drug, it's extra important to get yourself on a nutritional supplement program, if for nothing else, to help the body detoxify the poison. But you'll find that you're able to take less of a dose of a drug when you're on a nutritional supplement program. That alone. That alone is a huge reason to get on, on the longevity products if you're on a, a laundry list of, nutri of prescription drugs or even if you're on one prescription drug. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to my buddy Mario. Que pasa? What's going on? Mario. Mario in Jersey. There? Ben. 
Hey, hey long time, my friend. What's, What's up, my brother? How are you? I, I thought I thought you forgot about me, Mario. I missed you. Uh, What's going you're on? You're a busy man. <laughs> I, am a, I am a busy man. This is true. Thank you for the book, by the way. I haven't talked to oh, you since. Problem. Did you read it? Yes, I did. It's a very, very good book. In fact, I'd like to get him on. Oh, that's awesome. I, I was waiting on uh, to hear back from you. On yeah, that. no. Would you have, send me an email or whatever. Let's figure out a way. I'll have him on the show. All right, beautiful. Okay, good. Today, I'm calling for a friend of mine. I mean, I pretty much gave him the right answer, but I want to make sure I hear it from you correctly. Okay. Um, he's having a, adrenal issues. He's tired all the time. Um, he's about, he's in, the, like, I think he's like 35. Oh, no. Young guy. No, Too like, young. Early 30s. Too young. And um, I told him, you know, obviously I told him to get on the Mighty 90 because he needs that to start with. But I did tell him to start maybe using more salt, like Himalayan salt in his Good diet. Good for you. Good for you, Mario. That's awesome. First thing in the morning, have him do like a little bit of salt. He probably craves salt, so that'll help him with his cravings too. Uh, a little bit of salt, and you know how that whole the way I'd say you, you put uh, like a half a teaspoonful of salt and sip on it until it doesn't taste yeah, good so anymore. You, so you feel like you don't need it anymore. Exactly, exactly. That's how you deal. That's one of the best things you could do for the adrenal glands. But here's the thing: if he's only 35, he shouldn't be dealing with that, these kinds of problems. What? Uh, what's his lifestyle? Do you know him? Do you know his, I, his I lifestyle? Know, I do know him. He's a personal friend. He actually used to work with me, and um, he, you know, he's a great kid, Italian kid, you know, Italian family. Um, what's his lifestyle? And he's it's probably like, eating a lot of pasta too, by the way, right? I'm sure he does. I'm sure yeah. he does. I mean, I gotta get, I gotta get more details with him on his diet. But um, I kind of told him he's got to start. If he's not working out, obviously, to add like a rebounder to uh, get his. Did he, uh, did he gain weight like in his 30s? Did you know him for five years? Did you know? Yeah, I, I know him for a long time. I know him yeah. since he was like a teenager. So is he I've starting to get a little bigger, and rounder than where he was in get the a past? Bit of his belly, you know. Classic, classic case. We'll go, we'll go through the whole thing because he's classic. That happens to everybody. You know, between the ages of 28 and 35, that's when when it all starts to go downhill for most people. Up until 28, you're Superman for most people. Yeah. You're, you're Superman, right? You do anything. You can smoke and drink and carouse and then go play football the next day or whatever it is. And, and uh, you can't do – once around the, your age 28 to 35 – uh, it all goes it all goes downhill, but that's that's not necessarily a bad thing if you notice it. You can turn th you can turn it around. So hang hang on, Mario. We'll finish up when we come back. Okay. You got it. All right. I'm pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the bright side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Side, talking to my buddy Mario in New Jersey. Mario? Yes, and Ben. Okay. Yes. Uh, ben, you know, one more thing, real quick. He also has uh, degenerative discs. Yeah, it's part of the same process. Cortisol will make things shrivel up, and he's probably hypercortisol. In addition to having adrenal fatigue, they go together, as I'm sure you know. So you got to work on the adrenal glands. Uh, the most important thing is keep the sugar down. Well, there's, I don't say the most, one of the most important things is to keep the sugar down. I would personally, if I was him, I'd be as close to zero tolerance as possible, but that's going to be hard. So as best as he can. Uh, the next thing he's going to do, want to do, as, as you pointed out, if he's, is move the lymph around, rebounder, you know, running, treadmill, something like that to move his lymph hanging upside down on an inversion device. Uh, and then in addition to doing weight training, he's going to want to do a little weight training. The problem with weight training is, is, is it, it, it can put a real burden on the adrenal glands. So if he's... Uh, if he is, uh, you know, tries to get, become a gym rat with all this stuff going, he may not get the best results. So have him, have him uh, do a little resistance training, but mostly focus on moving that lymph around. That's the most important thing. If he has any, obviously, if he has any digestive health issues, malabsorption issues, those need to be corrected. And then as far as supplements go, zinc is all-time mega most important mineral for, body, for a building a body. I don't want to say bodybuilding, but building a body. And then also selenium is also very important. And then anything you can do to keep his est to balance out his estrogen, uh, he might want to try some DHEA or progesterone okay. cream. Um, I would I'd be doing high doses of vitamin C. There's more vitamin C in the adrenal glands than there is in any other part of the body. It's super dependent on the on vitamin C. 
And then uh, protein, good source of protein. If you can do whey, that's great, probably the best. If not, uh, maybe bone broth protein also, whey and bone broth protein, chicken soup, building foods. No more of the, of the uh, kids' foods, more building foods. The kids' foods being the pasta and the lasagna and the rice and the potatoes. The building foods being more protein and fat-based. A ketogenic diet would be ideal for him, by the way. Uh, and yeah. then also uh, vitamin E is going to be very important. If he's trying to lose some weight, vitamin E is very important for stabilizing fat. When you try to lose weight, you can increase uh, in your burning fat. You can cause problems if you don't have enough vitamin E. So uh, I, I would make sure I got 400 international units of vitamin E. also has a nice effect on the hormones. can help balance out cortisol. Vitamin A is also a very important building vitamin. Vitamin 20,000 IU vitamin A. All right, there's got tons. Right. You got tons of info there. Oh, don't forget your EFAs, your ultimate EFAs. Very important for anabolism building. Uh, ben, real yes, quick sir. for myself. Myself, I have. Uh, I've been having like when my, I sleep at night and I get my my fingers fall asleep like constantly, and I gotta keep. That's circulatory. Thing. That's a circulatory thing. Just when you fall asleep. I've been working time. five days a week now. Some kind of circulatory problem, though. That's what that's about. So, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. I can't say what it is, but that's definitely circulation. Uh, it could be, uh, have something to do with sugar, blood sugar. The blood is getting a little thickening, a little thick there. Um, okay. You know, I, I can't tell exactly what it is, but it's definitely in the circulatory system. Okay. All right, buddy. Thanks, Mario. All right. Take care, man. All right. Let's go to, uh, to, 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 let's go to Matt's in Illinois. Good morning, Matt. Welcome to the Bright Side. Uh uh, good morning, Ben. Thank you for uh, taking my call. Sure. What's up? Yeah. First, I'd like to say thank you. Um, I've listened to your show quite a bit, and it is uh, it, you just uh, have an incredible amount of information, which uh, has transformed my life, which I'm very oh, very happy thank you. About. <laughs> I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Thank you. What's going on today? Um, uh, well, no, I just I was wondering if you could provide any insight of uh, developed a ganglion cyst on my ankle and. Oh. Uh, I've been doing a lot of skating with hockey and whatnot, and uh, I can do some countermeasures to prevent blistering, but I'd like to know if you have any insight on... Does it come and go, or does it kind of... Pretty consistently pretty consistent. there? Uh, yeah. You know, cysts in general are a sign that the, the cells aren't growing as the way they should. Now, I don't know if you've been skating and you put pressure on it. That can exacerbate things. That can make things grow faster than they should. How, how things grow in the body... It's kind of it's tightly controlled. You don't want things growing too fast. And you don't want things growing too slow. You don't want cells growing dividing too fast or dividing too slow. A cyst is a sign that things are dividing too fast. Uh, the gang, the uh, a ganglion cyst is, is kind of a, a mucus filled cyst. It usually happens in the fingers. I hadn't heard of it happening in the ankle, but there's no reason why it wouldn't happen in the ankle. Uh, is it painful at all? Uh, the cyst by itself is not painful, but when I'm skating, you know, there's yeah. Uh, uh, the movement, which, uh, like I said, causes some friction, and uh, uh, that can that can be painful. But you know, they can they can uh, puncture it, and they can withdraw the fluid. They can do an aspiration procedure uh, if you really want to do it. Uh, it doesn't always work, unfortunately, because there's a connection that the cyst has to the joint. And so just by getting rid of the fluid, um, that might not necessarily get rid of the problem. It's kind of like a weed that grows back if you don't get rid of the root kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. So it, it, it's really, there's not much you could do uh, aside from surgery, although you might want to treat it as a sign that you may be missing some key normalizing nutrients, especially things like vitamin A and zinc. So what I would be doing personally, if it was me, unless it's, unless it's like miserable and then you may have to have it excised surgically, um, I would be working on, the meta on your metabolism to see why that, to, to prevent the cause, basically. And that, as I say, that would be nutritional deficiencies, number one. Sugar can do it. Hormone changes in your hormones can do it. Uh, excess amounts of either testosterone uh, in its uh, breakdown product called DHT can do it. Zinc will help you there. Essential fatty acids will help you there. Uh, it could have something to do with estrogen. Do you have? You can't really treat the cyst, but you can treat other things that are at the causal level. You remember we have the triangle of disease. The cyst is at the top of the triangle. Of, it's after the triangle. If you work on the triangle, you can help the body take care of the cyst. Do you have any digestive issues? Do you have any blood sugar issues? Are you dealing with uh, any kind of adrenal issues? That's basically your triangle right there. And that's where you want to work on your ganglion cyst. Does that make sense? At the level of the cyst, you're looking at surgery or aspiration maybe, but from a metabolism standpoint, a chemistry standpoint, which is where the problem arises from, 
you want to look at other you want to look for other symptoms and then work on those so if you have any digestive health issues those need to be addressed you follow me Are, is this making sense to you yeah yeah so, absolutely everything everything makes sense so far okay so um, work on the it? gut blood sugar work on the gut the blood sugar uh, and if you have any things going on, well, the gut and the blood sugar, most importantly, gut and blood sugar, and then uh, key nutritional supplements that are involved in growth, as I say, vitamin A, zinc, essential fatty acids. Um, you may want to uh, you may want to do things that help you balance out estrogen, probiotics, vitamin E, and vitamin A. Also, those might help too. All right. All right. I hope that helps. No, I want to get one more call in. Thank you so much, All Matt. Right, thank have, you so much. Have a great day, buddy. All right, let's go to Cliff in Ontario. Good morning, Cliff. What is up? How you doing, buddy? Uh, not too bad, not too bad, sir. Yeah, yeah, I was just um, I'm concerned about, not, uh, not overly concerned, about uh, olanzapine withdrawal. And uh, basically, this is something that people don't want to touch because it's, uh, especially from a professional level, but like I've been on olanzapine for years and I've gradually reduced it. Okay. And now like, I'm, I'm like I'm down, uh, like I, I was reducing it by a quarter of a pill, like... Uh, now I'm down to 2.5 milligrams a day. I, I, I'm, you're talking about ola, o, olanzapine, the uh, antipsychotic drug, the, uh, the bipolar. They give right. for bipolar. They give it to you for bipolar or schizophrenia. Yeah. Okay. And you're trying to wean yourself off of it? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a very. It's a difficult thing to do. It's a lot of people don't really realize uh, how addictive these drugs are and and what they do to you and. Uh, you know, unfortunately, a lot. You know, uh, there's a lot of people that try to come off them right away, and and this like gives like uh, people people are nervous about uh, you know even participating in in helping somebody to withdraw from them. Here's the problem. Want. Here's the problem. Yeah. Um, let me tell you the problem. Why withdrawal so hard? Because you're not treating the cause of the schizophrenia, the cause of the imbalance, okay, the cause of. You got to treat it at the causal level. The cause of, the, of schizophrenia involves how you're processing hormones and the digestive system, especially okay. uh, especially the get a book called The Gut and Psychology Syndrome by Dr. Natasha Kinsky Campbell. Now she writes okay. about she writes about autism in the gut, but there's a major relationship between the digestive system and the gut. There's also nutritional supplements that are important for brain health for schizophrenia. Ni you know about niacin? You should definitely be on niacin. You should get on it right away. Uh, yeah. Also, you know you already know about that. Well, I've heard about it. But, okay. Uh, the also, zinc. Is... Also, zinc is very important, and omega fat, uh, omega essential fatty acids, magnesium. The, what you're describing is really nutritional deficiencies and a weakness in the body that's not being addressed as you're pulling off of the olanzapine. So you got to make sure you're taking care of yourself at the fundamental biochemical level, so that you can deal with the withdrawal or with with getting off of the medication. Most people who try to withdraw don't do that. They try to live their lives as normal and just come off of the drug. You follow me? Yeah. And that's where you run into the problem. You got to change your life as you're we withdrawing, especially when it comes to nutrition and diet and that kind of stuff. I'm out of time. If you want to call back tomorrow, I'd, I'd be glad to, to finish up with you. I apologize, Cliff. We're just out of time. On the bright side, thank you so much for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for our Truth Skin Health products, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome spectacular day we'll talk to y'all later folks bye for now